What's up guys, Max Maxworks here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Hawkeye Depth Tracks 2B uh, depth finder in your boat. A um, couple of important things, in addition to the depth finder itself, you're also going to need a 3M epoxy to glue it in. You can also use a standard two-stage epoxy, but I prefer this for marine applications. Uh, the links to both of these things will be down in the description below. So a uh, quick rundown of what we're installing and why we're installing it. Um, so I have a Taiga 22V. It's a kind of a wake surf, wakeboarding boat. And it had factory uh, depth finder in the factory like three piece gauges. Uh, unfortunately those gauges have failed over the last 20 years. And uh, I had to replace the speedometer with a GPS unit and the TAC with a standard Faria um, 6K TAC. So I lost water temperature, air temperature, and depth. Now, water temperature and air temperature here in Texas are kind of a moot point. Um, you can basically just go outside and be like, oh, it's a nice day today, and go boating. Um, the depth finder is pretty critical here uh, on Lake Austin, Lake Travis. We have um, dramatically changing water levels uh, pretty much throughout the year, and it's super important to have this. Um, so I've been really kind of suffering without it for the last little bit. And so today we're going to install this. Um, the key thing to remember here is if you have an aluminum boat, this is fine. You can install it inside the transom. Or if you have a solid fiberglass boat like mine, you can install it in the transom. Um, and you might say like that pretty much covers all boats, but there are some boats that have um, what's called a cord hull. So you have a layer of fiberglass, a layer of fiberglass and like dead space in between um, to make them lighter uh, and, and more rigid sometimes. This will not work uh, glued inside the hull for those type of boats. You need to use a transom adapter. Um, but basically what we're gonna do is we're going to mount this thing in the dash, glue the transducer into the inside of the hull of the boat. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's a very simple installation in terms of conceptually. However, the trick is finding the right spot in the boat to put it in and uh, just kind of doing a clean installation. So I'll take you guys inside the boat here in a second. Um, and kind of show you what I'm thinking. Um, but before we do that, the first thing I want to do is I want to unbox this and kind of show you guys what comes in the box. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is 3M uh, Fast Cure 2500 or 5200, I'm sorry, um, white glue. This is specifically for through hull and in hull uh, settings. You can use it above below water. It basically activates with moisture, um, which is what makes it so cool. So the depth tracks box um, inside. So this is cool because you can do basically white gauges or black gauges. Um, we're gonna do white to match with the, uh, the rest of the boat, but there's um, basically just like a cover that comes with it, this guy, and then there's a, a cover that goes on the outside. We're probably not gonna use that. Um, this is our, uh, adapter I believe yeah so this has a couple of different ways that you can basically install this in the boat uh, this is for the through hull adapter I believe um, we're not going to use that stuff and then this is our gauge um, obviously it takes uh, positive negative 12 volts we're going to pull that from the uh, from the rest of the gauge cluster and then this is our uh, connector, it's like a coax style connector, and it's gonna go to this guy, if I can get this open. So there's our transducer, um, and it basically, this is the downside of the transducer. So it's gonna mount like this in the boat, um, and then we just have to run this cable all the way up to the gauge. Let's see, there's some plastic paper stuff, and then, there's some instructions, uh, but that's pretty much everything we need. So we're going to uh, focus on installing the transducer first. And then once that's in, uh, installing the gauge is pretty trivial. So this is what the boat looks like with everything removed. Um, this is probably overkill for this project. There might've been a way to do this without having to pull all this out, but I've never pulled all this out and I needed it for a future project anyway. So I figured this would be a good time to uh, take a look at how all this is designed so this is obviously the fuel tank here uh, the V drive transmission motor 
And this area right here is very important because this is actually where our um, pumps for the ballast project, which is coming up in the future, are going to go. So it's very important to keep this area clean. Down there you can see there's a through hole piece. That is actually the old speedometer. Um, if I'd known that was here, I would have ordered probably a through hole and just replaced this that piece right there because um, the fitting is already there. But uh, we have a glue in, so we're just going to use the glue in. And the trick here is going to be to find the spot where it's right near the middle um, of the V, so it's the lowest possible point but also so that it's going to be out of the way of any of these kind of pump assemblies that are going to have to go in here in the future. So basically this is a fiberglass hull, so all we really have to do is uh, basically dry it up, clean it up, uh, sand it down a little bit, and then glue it in. And I'm kind of tempted to just put it right here, right in the middle of the V, because that way it'll be closest to the bottom. And it's got a programmatic setting that allows you to compensate for the uh, propeller and stuff underneath the boat. But uh, that kind of stuff comes later. So let me figure out where it is I want to put this thing. And then uh, we'll kind of go from there. First thing we did is we ran this wire all the way to the helm. Um, I just ran it back through where all the speaker cabling is. We'll zip tie it up later. But it uh, basically just went, um, used the old... Uh, welding wire trick and so it just comes out right down there and we'll install the gauge up there um, I cleaned and uh, acetoned and sanded that little patch right there that's where we're going to install the transducer um, and so the next step is just to get this uh, marine adhesive on there cleaned up again because it gets some more water leak down through there um, and uh, Get this thing glued in and then we can uh, start working on getting the gauge cluster in. So there it is, uh, glued in. This stuff takes 15 to 20 minutes to cure um, initially and I think 24 hours to fully cure. I basically just put a piece of tape on it to stop it from sliding down into the V. Um, the rest of it is just wiring, run the wiring through. The downside of this is that $12 tube, once you puncture it because it's humidity activated, which today is a perfect day for that. Um, the whole tube is trash within I think 24 hours or 48 hours or something So unfortunately it's one of those things where like you buy it and you use however much you need um, When you're installing it the trick is to twist it down a little bit a couple times into the goop To make sure that there's no air bubbles and it's kind of flush to the uh, flush to the hull um, So now all we have left to do is install the actual uh, gauge and for that you need a two inch hole saw and a little bit of confidence, unless you already have a, uh, a hole and you're replacing an existing gauge, um, it'll bolt into the place of an existing gauge. I don't have that, so we're gonna have to figure out where we wanna put it in the hole. So what we've done is kind of mark this hole where it's gonna go. There's nothing back there. It should be able to just punch through very nicely, plenty of space for the gauge. And then uh, we'll be able to tap into 12 volts pretty much off of the uh, off of any of the other gauges there's like a whole daisy chain set of 12 volts back there and uh, we're just gonna put little uh, circle connectors on there and just tap it off of one of the other gauges and it should be fine there we go nice clean two inch hole and that's where we're gonna install our gauge so here is our installed unit basically all I did was I jumpered it off of the 12 volts for the uh, speedometer um, in the back then we just hooked up the transducer cable to the transducer so if we turn this on you can see the gauge comes on um, beeps at us I've already put in a keel offset the KO here is if you hold both of these buttons down um, the keel offset is the draft of your boat I put that at two feet um, I don't know that was just a guess but basically it subtracts that to let you know that like when this hits zero you're still safe basically you can also set a minimum depth uh, by hitting this, see the up arrow, that shows you the uh, um, maximum depth. And then if you hold the down arrow, that shows you the minimum depth at which it starts giving you a warning. I'm gonna set both of those to zero. Um, I don't really need a minimum or a maximum depth because um, you know I just need to know what the actual reading is. Uh, and you know, zero is zero, which is actually two feet, so we don't hit the, the prop on anything. That's pretty much it. Um, it's a very easy installation. 
all that's really left is to um, clean everything up with zip ties, make sure everything's pretty and out of the way. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Leave me a comment if you've installed one of these. I'm curious to see how long it lasts. They have uh, very good reviews online, but, uh, you know, it's an $85 depth gauge, so who the hell knows how long it's going to uh, actually survive. Um, and hopefully our insulation went well. I don't foresee any problems. We have a pretty good contact point in the hull. We've got a solid fiberglass hull. I'm not very worried about it. Um, but hopefully uh, next week I'll be able to test this out on the water and uh, look forward to having this kind of information on the, uh, on the deck here again. As always, my name is Max. This is Max Works. Appreciate you guys watching.